Hey everyone, this is Hyperactive. I'm going to quickly apologize in advance because uh, this video may seem like I'm a bit disjointed and I might may lose my train of thought sometimes because I don't have a script. My script was uh, corrupted by Microsoft Word. Something happened, so I lost it. I don't feel like retyping it, so I'm just going off the top of my head and hopefully I can stay organized as best as I can. And this is about the Spider-Man PS4 teaser trailer that we got like a week ago, I believe. I won't be really discussing the Easter egg because I'm pretty sure someone else already made like like 10 to 12 videos about that. So I'm just going to focus my thoughts on the story and um, yeah, that type of stuff. So anyways, let's get started. Now, I'm still excited for Spider-Man PS4. Don't get me wrong, I am. But for this one, I'm going to be a bit more skeptical because... It's always good to temper your expectations just in case that something doesn't live up to, you know, the hype. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm going to be looking at this as a skeptical way. If you want to look for much more of a positive video, then I would recommend go anywhere else because I'm pretty sure everyone's like freaking out about it. But first, let me start with the pauses. What did I like about this teaser trailer? First thing is... Peter Parker looks like an average Joe. He's not some hunk of meat that everyone's drooling over. He can easily blend in the crowd. So yeah, that's a great start. I mean, it took me a little bit to get used to it because, again, I'm used to him seeing much more of a hunk of meat, you know, the picture-perfect model, you know, that type of whatever. Mary Jane's design is pretty damn good, I'm not going to lie. But I feel like they're going to turn into a reporter this time around. I'm not sure how I feel about that. We just have to wait to see how that plays out. Everyone else looks great. Shocker's in the game, which I honestly did not expect. But I believe he's just probably just going to be just a filler boss fight. He's not going to really add much size, uh, exposition dumps. Story itself seems promising. It does. It seems, like has a, it seems like it's on the right beats. No, Peter's in the relationship with MJ. This is Spider-Man life is interfering with it. He wants more of a life. No, so far we're on to a good start. That's all. That's all so far as I can say about the story because we don't know what the actual source is going to be like. We don't even know who the main villain is who many expect to be Green Goblin because Willem Dafoe's in the game. I mean, no, not Willem Dafoe. Uh, uh, Osborn. Osborn, Osborn, yeah. Now, okay, so overall, I like how the game looks. I like the character designs. I think the story's on the right path. But there are three things that made me raise my eyebrows, made me a bit more skeptical about the game. Yeah, the It's Miles Morales, the scripted events, you know, the big blockbuster moment events, and the gameplay where you play as Mary Jane, uh, that's a bit odd, I never really once thought about playing as Mary Jane, because I never once thought, you know, hey, you know what the Spider-Man game's missing, playing as Mary Jane Watson, you know, the girl that Spider-Man has to constantly save a countless times, so who knows, maybe that'll make her much stronger female character most likely they will but at the same time i really don't want to play as the other characters like like mary jane because i'd rather have just focus on spider-man and just perfect his gameplay first before going off to other characters maybe say that for like a sequel or dlc but who knows maybe they'll blow it out of the water and prove me wrong i hope they prove me wrong the Scripted events, now I do like scripted events, like a charted, you know, as long as I feel like I have some control, you know, as long as it's my input that makes it go forward, I can have fun. But here, it seems like there's going to be a lot of them, and, um, and you know, don't get me wrong, they look great, they honestly look great, like, the movie production quality, it's great, but... To me, Spider-Man games are about control. You know, you feel like Spider-Man. Take Spider-Man 2, for example. You had 100% control. I don't think there was any uh, any quick time events. You had to do everything. You, if you want to land somewhere, you have to time the release of your swing, speed, momentum, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And boss fights, you know, you had to dodge. You know, you had to press the circle button to dodge. It was not nothing 
over the top quick time events. I'll say for Spider-Man 3, which they ruined it. And here, where we see like Spider-Man fighting Mr. Negative in the train, don't get me wrong, it looks cool as hell, but it doesn't sound like it's any much of the player's input. It's more like, more like autopilot, and I don't really like that in Spider-Man games. I prefer if it's like full 100% control. But again, I could be wrong, but as right now, I'm going to stay very skeptical of this sequences those movie blockbuster movie sequences and now for this one this one might disagree with a lot of people you know that's fine if you don't agree with my thoughts on miles morales um that's you know again that, that that's fine but to me he should not be in the game i just i feel like this is just like marvel pushing miles more into the mainstream don't get me wrong i like that but to me, i rather, again, i rather have the game be focused on Spider-Man, you no know, Peter Parker, and fleshing him out first before introducing another Spider-Man. Isn't, like, like Miles supposed to be, like, a legacy character? Like, after the ultimate Spider-Man dies, he takes up the mantle of Spider-Man and, uh, you know, lives up to his legacies, you know, something like that. Having him, like, team up with Spider-Man, let's face it, he probably will. It, that just undermines the whole point of his character. Like, it's the same mistake the cartoon's doing. It's it's undermining what the character's supposed to be. Now, before any of you say, yes, I'm aware Spider-Man is alive in the Ultimate Universe. Spoiler, sorry. Um, and the two universe mix. So now, six or, 616 Spider-Man and Miles are together. But I, again, I prefer if they did follow the Ultimate kind of path. Where, you know, Peter dies, Miles becomes this new Spider-Man. It's whatever. And to be honest, I'm not all that excited for Miles because... To me, he's just Peter Parker if he was black. That's really all he is, how I see him. Maybe I'm just looking at the wrong comics. Maybe I'm just looking at the wrong things of him. If any of you Miles fans down there, please write down a comment, you know, telling me how complex and interesting this character is. But to me, he's not that interesting. He's just Peter Parker as black, whatever. Anyways. So yeah, those are just my three problems. I know I, two of them I addressed back in my other video, but here this one kind of just made me a bit more, again, skeptical and concerned. But other than that, I'm still really looking forward to this game. I hope it's my game of the year, and, and for many others, their game of the year. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and it's probably all over the place, but whatever. I didn't really feel like writing a, another script. So yeah, if you want, if you enjoy hear my thoughts, want to see more, please uh, like, share, and subscribe. See you soon.